Well, here we go. Say, you know, since uh, Aaron Judge just broke, you know, Roger Maris's uh, 61 year old record of 61 home runs, Aaron Judge hit 62 uh, <clears throat> in game number 61. Um, I am finding that the year 1961 is very interesting in terms of the world of baseball, and particularly the Yankees. So I thought I'd dig in a little bit more about what went on during the Major League season that year with the Yankees, with the Major League, with Maris, with Mantle, the whole enchilada. So here's a little bit of what I uh, dug into. I previously thought that there was a shortened season for the Yankees, only 161 games, but I was wrong. as Actually, they played 163 games, not 161. But the question is, why 163? That's the year that Major League Baseball went from 154 games a year to 162 game schedule. In fact, in fact, Fort Frick, the Major League Baseball commissioner at that time, ordered that uh, there be one set of records for uh, uh, the, the, the years that were 154 games and another set of records for 162 because remember in the year 1961, was the home run derby, if you will, the home run chase of Babe Ruth by both Roger Maris and actually Mickey Mantle. People forget Mantle was in that race up until the end. Um, and later that was changed uh, so that there's just one set of records no matter how many games played. Uh, but the question is why did they uh, go 163 games? It's because on April 22nd, 1961, it was a doubleheader against the Baltimore Orioles. And which the Orioles won the first game 5-3. to three. Uh, The second game uh, got to be uh, too late, uh, maybe too dark. I don't know why they, I don't know why they called it, a, a, it was a tie, 5-5. Five, five. And I don't know why they called the game and just said it's a tie. But it looks like the next day, on April 23rd, uh, they did the makeup game. Uh, they got rid of the one that was a tie and just redid it. Um, and the Orioles won that one 4-1. to one. But I'd, I'd like to know more about why they called that game or said it's a tie or ended up. Maybe it got to go too late. Uh, I'm not, I don't know about the lighting there, etc., etc. I'm sure there's a good reason. Somebody somewhere knows. Um, in terms of home runs that year, Roger Maris, of course, broke Babe Ruth's 34-year-old record. He had 61 home runs. Mickey Mandel ended up with 54. Um, so both, there was a lot of pressure on both uh, before the year began because uh, at that time Mantle was 29, had a good track record. He had hit 50 homers before that time. A New York darling, if you will. Uh, Mantle came, you know, was born and raised in, or, or born in Fargo, North Dakota, played for like Cleveland, Kansas City, small market teams. And then went to New York, and I don't think he really ever had a good handle on handling the pressure of, you know, the big city New York pressure. Um, the truth is they both felt the pressure to break the record of Ruth's 60 homers in 154 games so that there wouldn't be an asterisk. People wouldn't second guess. People wouldn't doubt say, well, that was a longer season, therefore, kind of a thing. Um, truth is, at one point in June, whatever, they were both on pace to break uh, Babe Ruth's record. They were, it was, so people wonder, well, why did Maris hit so much, so many? Well, he had Mantle right behind him. Mantle's a proven commodity. Um, Maris was more the younger, up-and-comer type of guy, had a track record. But you got Mantle behind him, so it's either pitch to Maris or face Mantle. And they're both slapping homers uh, on pace to break Ruth's record. Uh, and it started off as kind of a friendly competition, you know, the m and boys. Uh, but then uh, the media kind of turned it into uh, kind of an unfriendly competition between the m and boys. Uh, and it turns out there was more of a media creation, probably to sell newspapers, get TV ratings, whatever, to create such a controversy. The truth is they, they lived together, both of them, in an apartment with another uh, Yankee player. And it turns out it looks like they all got along great type of thing. But once Mantle got, uh, the problem is uh, in mid-September, Maris had, by mid-September, Maris had 56 homers. Mantle had 53, but the problem is at that time, mid-September, Mantle got a hip infection. So he had to, uh, he couldn't play any longer for the rest of the season. He's out for the rest of the season. He ended up with one more homer at 54. So all the pressure 
was on our man, Roger Maris. And boy, he felt the pressure. Remember, he's a small town boy in a big city market. Uh, <clears throat> Maris didn't like all that pressure, called it irritating, annoying. He criticized the one point Yankee fans. After a doubleheader, he wouldn't meet with the media. He got dubbed not so jolly Roger. And, and uh, it, it, so much pressure, people didn't always realize the pressure that he felt, but he lost clumps of hair type of thing. His wife said he looks like a bird molding type of thing. Uh, he hit a 60th homer on September 26th of that year, and he hit 61st on October 1st, the last day of the season. Uh, so technically it was game 163, but because they threw out the tie and only count 162 of those games. Now, in that game that was a tie, he got a hit, but he didn't get a homer. So don't have to worry about that kind of funny math kind of thing. Uh, he got his 61st homer, by the way, at Yankee Stadium against Boston rookie Tracy Stollard. And the fan, guess, do you know who the fan was that caught that 61st ball? I'll bet you don't. I didn't know either until I looked it up. It was 19-year-old Sal Durante. Now, I don't know, you know, in today's world with Aaron Judge's 62nd homer, that sucker's the, the guy that caught already got a $2 million offer. I don't know what happened here. Game a Yankees gave him a couple of bats, another signed ball, a jersey, a couple of tickets to the game. I don't know. Good question. Uh, the thing is, famous uh, sports reporter Vesky of New York uh, said, you know, Maris may have had the image of a grouchy SOB, but the truth was he was far more approachable than Mickey Mantle. And he would know because he's the sports reporter talks to them after the games all the time, etc., etc., etc. But anyways, I, I just wanted to dig into the year 1961 with the Yankees, with the tie game. They played 163, only 162 counted. It's like uh, it was a two-way race up until the time uh, in mid-September, up until the time Mantle got a hip infection and had to quit playing for the season. So Maris had all the pressure on him. He got 61, Mantle got 54. And now, in the year 2022, Aaron Judge does it 62, sets the new record. I find it all fascinating, over and out.